Hello everyone, John Joker 12 back here again with another video. Now, I'm going to try and make this short. Uh, I just, I, I wasn't going to talk about this type of video and I, I don't know, it's just been something that's been bothering me and pissing me off and I don't know, I just wanted to make my um, video of giving my personal thoughts and once again, I'm, like before anybody like, listens in, I just want to make it perfectly clear that I'm not trying to bash anything or bash anyone in specifics. And everything I'm saying is that may come off as rude or offensive is just coming out jokingly in my end. So, but let's just get right into it. If you've read the title and read the description, then you obviously know this video is about the whole Captain 3 versus Batman versus Superman Man of Steel 2 um, debacle. I mean, obviously online, if you go on there like constantly as I do for more, you know, of these badass movies, then you would know that apparently Marvel being the cash cow that it is nowadays, has been fucking putting out and scheduling sequels up the ass to all their franchises, and obviously Captain America 3 is going to be on that boat of um, Avengers Phase 3, so, which is all fun and games and cool and all, but at the same time, ironically, they put the date, release date, the same release date, which will be for Batman vs. Superman, a.k.a. Man of Steel 2, which is a big deal. I mean, at first I was like, really? But then I was like, eh, whatever. And then ironically, lots of people have been getting off on it, seeing as how if you love comic book movies, then you obviously have realized that there has been a big competition nowadays in the box office when it comes to Marvel and DC. And for, and for some while now, D, um, DC has been taking it from Marvel, and a lots of people have been siding with Marvel, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing, Marvel is pretty awesome, and Avengers was cool and all, but then again, a lot of their shit that they've been putting out currently is kind of like just overrated in my opinion, and kind of just, just following that Avengers train, you know, and... It's just kind of stupid to me, but then again, there comes DC, and DC is kind of getting fucked over in a sense, because I, I think what people are doing is just bashing it for the, the kind of originality that they're trying to do, you know? I mean, obviously, DC and Warner Brothers is trying to do something different. They're, obviously, they're doing their cinematic universe. We all know that's what's been coming. I mean, like, just look at Man of Steel. That shit is just fucking filled to the gills with fucking references and easter eggs to various other characters in the universe so obviously it would be logical to put them in the sequel and eventually do a justice league movie which i personally am fucking psyched for but obviously um various people across the fucking planet apparently are 50 50 about the whole thing but now Marvel, even actors who are going to appear in Captain America 3 and the sequels and blah, 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 have been bashing not only Batman vs. Superman, but, of course, DC in general. And as much as I respect all those people, it's kind of like, really? Do we have to, do we really have to do this? Like, it's, like, it's kind of just kind of making people decide where they want to be at, you know? It's like, oh, I have to be Marvel because everybody's in the Marvel and DC sucks. You know? And, and you know, and everybody's like, I was like, oh, well, why am I into DC? I mean, like, I only care about Batman and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. It's, it's just a big debacle that's just really pissing me off. It's like comic book fan. This is why I, w I was... This is why I was really fucking aggravated when pop culture and... Like, when comic book movies, and just in comics in general, became the mainstream, you know, it's kind of like a rock band, you know, when the rock band, when it's indie, it's awesome and cool, but when it goes mainstream, it's all crap and stupid, and it's taking all my money. That's what comic books has become nowadays. It's all a cash cow, and I know I sound like I'm bitching, but at the same time, it's kind of true. I mean, now, we're, we're forced to fucking take it from the actors, the big budget actors and Captain America and Samuel Jackson being like, oh, fuck DC. And Joss Whedon's like, oh, fuck DC. Fuck him. Who gives a shit? It's all about Avengers, bitch. And now we have to decide, like, oh, Marvel, well, seeing as how it's doing better, I might as well be a Marvel fan. And plus they have the Hulk and, you know, it's, god damn, dude. This is the, this is the fall of man here with, well, the fall of comic book men. This is the fall. 
We have to decide who we who we have to choose for, and now it's affecting, you know, movies that I personally are really psyched for. I mean, I know these movies are several years off, but at the same time, it's like Batman vs Superman is something I'm really psyched for. And seeing as how a lot of people, including Marvel Studios, has been bashing it, it's kind of like, am I like the only one who's gonna be sitting in the seats? It's kind of killing my heart and soul over here, especially from a, coming from a hardcore Batman fan as myself. But I don't know. Um, if I had to give it off my personal thoughts on the scheduling when it comes to Captain America 3 being released the same time as the f- as um, Man of Steel 2, I-, I don't have that much of a big deal about it. I, I personally am going to see Batman vs. Superman prior to seeing Captain America 3, or maybe I won't see it a- at all. I mean, just, just as a big F you to Marvel. Hell, I might, you know. Then again, we don't really know. I mean, there's been a lot of talk about Warner Brothers um, pushing the date again, supposedly. So I don't know if that's possible. I mean, it could be, but then again, I think it would be kind of like a puss move if if Mar- if Warner Brothers did it. I mean, I'm kind of happy that they're, that they're not going against Avengers 2 Age of Ultron. But at the same time, it's kind of like, it's like, God, at the same exact day, a Marvel movie, really? You couldn't pick, like, the next day or the weekend, really? You just had to pick the same day Batman vs. Superman. The first movie that we're ever going to see these two fucking characters in the same movie together. You had to do that. Really? You fucking assholes. Disney, you pissing me off. I mean, you're you're doing great, but you're kind of pissing my heart and soul here. (sighs) But, then again... That's my personal thoughts. I, I try to, I'm trying to make this quick as possible. I don't want to continue to ramble because, that, like I told you people, like for anybody who's listening to this video, uh, it's just a topic and, deb- and debate that's been pissing me off for, week, for weeks now, like since it's happened, you know, it's just like, can't we just watch these movies in amazement and be entertained like we used to? Now we have to be like, oh no, it's Marvel. Oh no, it's DC. Oh no, Batman's cooler than Captain America. Oh no, Superman's like... You know, it's just really aggravating, and I don't know. I personally, like I said, I'm going to see Man of Steel 2 before any of those movies. I mean, it's definitely going to be my, it's definitely my most anticipated movie of all time right now. Like, the like first it was Dark Knight Rises, then Avengers, you know, and now it's this movie. But... Once again, I'm not trying to bash Marvel, and I'm not trying to bash the actors or who are going to be working on Captain America 3. I'm not trying to bash any of them. You know, it's just kind of a puss move when you're trying to, you know, kill, the, essentially, the fans who really want to see something like this happen. I mean, like, it's it's DC's first cinematic universe that they're working on. You have to bash them right out of the gate. It's like, really? I mean, I don't really remember DC bashing Marvel when they did Iron Man and were start, starting their cinematic universe. I don't remember that. But no, bash DC. Bash Batman. Really? You're going to bash Batman? One of the coolest characters in comic books history? Really? But that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed. And um, I guess that's... Um, once again, I'm not trying to bash anybody. Even though if one of those... If anybody continues to bash you, I'm just going to continue to be more aggravated. But all I have to do is ask you guys, what do you are personally looking forward to seeing first? Um, this has become the, the fucking biggest debate apparently nowadays when it comes to comic book movies. So I might as well ask it. So what are you looking forward to seeing first? I mean, I'm pretty sure Avengers 2 is high on the list. But when it comes to the Captain America 3 slash Batman vs. Superman debacle. Uh, I personally go with Batman vs. Superman, but what do you guys go for? And wh- which which movie do you think is going to make the most money? I personally would like to see Bat- Man of Steel 2 make more money, but you never know with these type of things. So that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed. And that's going to be... I don't know. Damn it, Sam Jackson. You just had to fucking say those things. You're hurting me. <laughs>